Anyone who has worked in the creative industries knows that Shutterstock has been everywhere helping their events. Honey, Andrew's, you know, Grand Budapest Hotel, you know, you know like, oh my gosh, uh, the, 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 the great love. Um, Hani's been behind a lot of the help across the industries. Just want to like give a shout out thanks to Hani. Hani. Right? She's everywhere. I know. She was everywhere. Like, here, you need some money? No problem. We'll help you out. <laughs> uh, Shutterstock. Have a seat, please. Because, um, you know, you guys uh, made a biological, you, you had a baby. Yeah, we've already made a human genome. <laughs> it's booted up quite well. Boot it up quite well, that's new. <laughs> um, okay, let's see here. Um, I'm gonna put this down here for a second. Like some water? Water, anyone water? Yeah, no. Water. Sure. Go ahead. Um, so, um, Andrew, according to your pop tech profile, T was the person who you were looking the most forward to hearing speak. Why? Uh, well, I'm a biologist, and I'm really interested in how life gets started and reproduction. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I have to say, I don't really have a lot of experience in your industry. <laughs> well, okay. fantastic. Nice, nice. That was, that was so well crafted. It was so good. Um, so, T, when you see what Andrew's been, I mean, he's been doing it for a, a long time, and you can kind of feel where it's going or see where it's heading, how do you think that could impact the sex toy world? Oh, my goodness. I mean, what he's doing is absolutely mind-blowing. And I think when it comes to these kind of creations, it is, it's almost unfathomable, I mean, how, how that impacts everything else. Um, I mean, what we're working with um, is, you know, basic materials, and this introduces brand new, um, you know, mediums that we can work with, and it's gonna be very exciting. So, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're not nowhere near that at the moment. We're just starting to just, you know, make better looking vibrators, you know. So, um, <laughs> but, you know, we got us one step at a time, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, that's good. I was like, you know, I was watching Twitter because, you know, thank you audience for like expressing yourself on different social media channels because I'm stalking all of you now. Um, and, uh, oh, by the way, that talk by Primo's was amazing, wasn't it? Um, I, I, wasn't it amazing? Um, development doesn't have to be sexy, it just has to work. That's Patrick Meyer quoted that. Uh, Teague says, development is not about the numbers, it's about the people. Change development practices to include the people you're trying to help. Uh, I love this one by Lisa DeSisto. Did we get a sample of Designer T's product in our PopTech check-in bag? Asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> sure, of course. Of course, we're all asking for a friend. Asking um, for a friend. So, no, it's not in your pop tech bag, but however, if you're interested, come see me and we'll sort you out. There we go. <laughs> sort you out. Like, it was like the Harry Potter sorting hat thing, but very different. Um, so, Andrew, when you, saw, when, when you saw the kind of work that T is exploring, did you have any like, t I mean, Autodesk has this or Autodesk has that, or we're growing this. I'm sure she could use this. Anything that popped out of your mind when you saw that? Use your imagination here. This is, you can get points of the honey right now. This is good. Well, you know, we are interested in the future of manufacturing and the future of making. Um, but right away, I was thinking of 3D printing. <laughs> and, you know, definitely some, some uh, areas to play with there. But, you know, in my field, uh, you know, arousal is, starts in the brain. <laughs> so. Um, you know, there's viruses that get in there too, so maybe I'll just have to switch careers as this technology gets a little more uh, robust. I like that arousal <laughs> starts in the, did you feel that? He was going there for no, a second. That's true, there are people who can have orgasms without even physical, like, physical touch. So yeah, people can have orgasms in their dreams apparently. That's, that's pretty Love wild. Tea. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> so T, so, Again, I want to thank you for your talk. It was just, it was, it was just, yeah, it moved me. Um, what do you hope the pop tech audience leaves in their mind when they think of sex toy? You know. um, crave, buy our products, lovecrave.com. Uh, no, 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 um, I'm just kidding. Um, no, don't kid, it's okay. Okay, all right, so buy our products, crave. Um, not the beef jerky, okay, but crave. 
Um, no, but um, I think when it comes to sex toys, it's, it's very personal. I mean, I'm not someone who's like, you gotta use sex toys, you know? I mean, sure, it helps. If you don't, you're not into it, that's fine. I mean, there's no right or wrong answer. It's all up to you. So I think the most important thing is just really to keep an open mind. Um, I mean, there's mm -hmm. just so many entrepreneurs in this space and they've all tended to, I've seen men, and I was so glad that you were like out there talking about this with humor and fun. And you know, um, can you bring up the, uh, uh, the uh, cauliflower? By the way, I wanted to give Andrew his own cauliflower. There we go. It won't, it won't stay that way, so you probably have to take care of that soon. Um, in, uh, main moment for you. And T, I struggled with the right main moment for you. So I knew it had to be something you can wear around, sort of. So next image, please. So you have here a main lobster claw cr cracker things, which you know, it's, there's kind of subjective, if you know what I mean. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Sweet. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, please, thank you. Thank you. All right.